In this lecture, we're going to learn how to give the model behavior. Then we can test out the model in an actual AR app. So click on the model and then in the top right hand corner, select behaviors, which is right next to properties. Just choose their behaviors. Then we can set what behaviors we want to occur upon different events. So here at the footer of your app, you'll see behaviors. You can click plus to add a new behavior. Here we have a list of options for behaviors. We have tap and flip to flip object after tapping, tap and play sound to play a sound from the object after tapping, tap and add force to add impulse force after tapping, start hidden to hide the object on scene start, wait and show to show the object after two seconds, Proximity and jiggle to jiggle the object when within the proximity and custom to create your own behavior instead of one of those templates. Let's choose custom to create our own behavior. Then you'll see these two options, trigger and action sequence. We have a trigger to trigger the event or action sequence. So here we can add a trigger to the behavior. Just click inside of this box and you have your option of triggers. You have tap to trigger when an object is tapped. Scene start will trigger when the scene starts. Proximity to camera will trigger when in proximity to the camera. Collide will trigger when, spe when specified objects collide. And notification will define a notification trigger in Xcode. Let's choose scene start, which is going to trigger some action when the scene begins. You can also enable accessibility. Next, we have our action sequence. This is the actual event or behavior of the object, so click inside of this box to choose an action. Let's take a look at the list. We have emphasize to call attention to objects with animations. Show will show an object with an animation. Hide will hide an object with an animation. Move, rotate, scale to will move, rotate, and scale a object to a specific location. Move, rotate, and scale by will move, rotate, and scale an object relative to its current location by a certain amount. Add force will apply an impulse force to target objects, like pushing it or throwing it. Orbit will make an object orbit a central object, like a planet orbits a sun. Spin will spin an object in place on its axis. Change scene will move to another scene or page if needed. Play sound will play a sound from an object. Play ambience will play audio anchored to the scene, so ambient sound, meaning background sound. Play music will play music or sound effects over the experience, like a soundtrack. Wait will wait a specified amount of time, like a pause. USDZ animation will play an animation that comes with a USDZ file. USDZ is the model type that Xcode supports. You can import other model types and Reality Composer will convert them to the USDZ animation required by Xcode for AR applications. And some of these file types, they actually have the animation in the file type. Look at camera will aim an object at the camera and notify will define a notify action in Xcode. Let's choose as our action spin, which will spin an object in place around its axis. Okay, and here we now have to select an object that will do the spin action. So here in our action sequence, we have to click on affected objects and select choose. Okay, and here we have to actually select what object we want to use. So I'm going to select the sun. And now you should see one object under affected objects and then you can press done. If you want to choose more, just press choose again. Then you have the duration, which is how long the spinning will happen for. For example, if I set this to 24 seconds, I can test out the spinning by going to the top right hand corner and pressing the play button. That will show me the animation and you can see here the sun is beginning to slowly spin on its axis. So it's doing the behavior. I can press stop. Then under my action sequence, I can also increase the number of iterations if I want the spinning to happen multiple times. I can choose the spin direction and the axis. So do you want to spin on the X axis or the Y axis? Feel free to experiment with other action sequences as well, but let's just start with this simple trigger and action sequence. What we have now is when our scene begins, when the app loads, our sun will appear in the augmented reality app and it will spin. If you want to learn more iOS development, then pledge to our Kickstarter, the Complete 22 Web Development and Machine Learning Bundle, which also has a lot of app development content. 
and it is live now. Link in description.